So, dun, 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 dun. What was that? I don't know. It's like an awesome intro. That's what it was. Yeah. I don't know. Hi. Uh, welcome to game night. We'll start right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, we're playing uh, Pokemon Sword. Um, I'm uh, like the game just came out uh, last Friday as of mm-hmm. recording. Um, so, so of course, like we're we're playing on my copy. Um, I've already played ahead on a, my own profile. I just beat the seventh gym leader, yep. and Ezra hasn't even beat the first. Uh, he has shield. So yeah, I have shield. There's that, and uh, we both picked Score Bunny. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking uh, we're gonna pick like a different starter. Ooh, nice. For uh, for game night here, um, and I was actually thinking like on the like a uh, on the way up here. Uh huh. Uh, I was thinking of like playing as a female character just because I'm already a male character in my profile. Oh yeah, yeah okay. uh, my profile. And I was thinking of going with this one right here Top and right. and uh, name her after uh, Grandma or or Mom in this case. So like, oh, I thought I thought we were gonna name her after I thought we were gonna name her Romeo after your dog who passed away. Uh, no, 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 no. And no plus, Romeo. that's a boy's name. Yeah, well, uh, it could be a chick. I don't know. Nice. Yeah, so we're gonna call her Jackie. Cool. All right. Uh, yes, we're good. I heard some people are messing with that, trying to do the Masuda method for like uh, hatching. Uh, what are they called? Like shiny Pokemon. Yeah. I hear they're like changing the language so that it's considered a. Oh look, Poketube. Poke- see, like I, I don't know. Oh, okay. So when I first loaded it up, you see like that weird language or whatever that they've got there, like weird letters. I thought, oh crap, I selected one of the like, uh, one of the Asian language ones and I'm like, now I'm going to be stuck yeah. with that or the whole thing trying to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought I was going to be yeah. stuck with that. Oh, and uh, considering that like um, this generation of Pokemon, uh, the Galar region is like based off the UK, uh-huh. I'll, I'll be trying to do some like UK... Related accents, so like British, Irish, Australian. Cool. Forgive me if I get them all mixed up, but uh, it, it's just it's something I'd like to try out. Nice. You know? So, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon, with 15% or more unconscious. 15% <laughs> yeah, more unconscious. Oh, we love Galar region. It's a wonderful place. We thrive in nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon, which with we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. I haven't caught that one yet. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's a uh, cuffant. Oh, it's nice. a it's a steel, it's a steel type. Okay. Yeah. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even uh, with our insurance plan uh, <laughs> uh, in our towns. Nice. Uh, Wait, you and, go to the Pokemon Center for free. <laughs> Deductibles paid up. And those of us who choose. To raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call it Pokemon Trainers. Nice. Geico, 15 minutes can save you 50% or more on cards. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah video, Pokemon! This, this video unofficially brought to you by Geico, which I don't think either of us are insured through. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, also, I'm an Allstate guy. <laughs> oh, I'm in good hands. But I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Video unofficially brought to you by Allstate. <laughs> Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's expo- Exhibition Match. So, okay, here's here's my question. Okay, yeah. This dude's undefeated. Like, So is that, like, period or just in, like, actual competition? Like, like, the, like official competition? Uh, or has he just never lost a battle before? That's all I've been hearing throughout the game. It's like... Uh, you meet with uh, his little brother uh-huh. named Hop. Yeah. And he's like, Oh, my big brother is like invincible. Nobody beats him. Oh, and, and uh, oh, they're they're both already talking. Uh, uh, automatically. Dynamite. Like, <gasps> oh, it's. Oh, I don't like it when it's pink. I like it when it's just. Bracky, Bracky, he's pink. He's angry. Oh, Bracky, he's roaring. <laughs> And now in the wild, we've got a uh, Gigantamax Charizard. I'm not going to go touch it. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> and there's a sheep. Or Wooloo. Yeah, Wooloo. 
I heard Wulu is super easy to shiny hunt. Really? Yeah, because there's like a buttload of them at least right here. Yeah. Like it's really. I never. I didn't even catch one. Like I've been really selective about the Pokemon I've been catching. I've been more like focused on like building my team first, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna like come back after I like get more money, get more Ultra Balls, and then I'm just gonna build my team like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm try trying to decide too. So okay, so I don't know. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. So so before we keep going. Uh, I don't know if this, uh, if, uh, if I, if I said this when we started recording, so, uh, actually, no, before we started recording, I was telling Ezra that, uh, I've played through most of the game, and as much as I said, um, in a, one of our previous episodes that, like, I'm will, uh, I was willing to give, like, uh, Game Freak the benefit of the doubt, uh -huh. and, and, you know, like, the whole hell blue with, uh, thank you, Game Freak, or the, screw you, Game Freak, Game Freak you know. <laughs> Um, so, uh, having that said, I, uh, I've, uh, beaten, like, uh, the fir uh, the seven gyms, and so, um, so I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to be fair, uh, like, uh, as far as, like, my comments about this game. Uh, there are some things I do enjoy about this game, and there are some things I, um, uh, feel like, uh, have, like, Sincere issues about. Okay. So, here we're gonna go. Here we are. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. I just flashing new fun, Jackie. Are you watching Lee's expedition match on it? Well, you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to probably cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Wait. Hope. Didn't expect to see you here today, do you? Isn't this a big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Jackie. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come to me, Jackie. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings present when he visits, so I won't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at the mine later. Wait, see you at... See you at mine later. Oh, oh like his house? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's kind of like a weird way. Well, I mean, as an American. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a, a strange sentence to say. See you at mine later. Yeah, like, that's weird. Like, mine what? Oh, yeah. Now, if it was like, my house? Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, that would make sense. My place? My thing? My residence? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't, like, with that freaking munch life, I can't wait until they get Pokemon home. I've got a munch, a shiny Munchlax just waiting to come into this game. I've got like half a box full of shiny Pokemon that I can bring over. The other half I'm gonna have to like leave. Or like put it on like Pokemon home. And they're gonna have to stay in the bank. Yeah. Yeah, so you didn't get the the Amazon one then. Oh yeah, you got it. You, what did you buy yours? You want it from GameStop? Oh, oh a Pokemon Sword? Yeah. Oh no, straight from the eShop. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wasn't there, like, something special you can get if you download it from the eShop? Um, so, well, I mean, so, uh, if you, uh, pre-order a digital copy of the game, yeah. so, like, just, so, like, just Pokemon Sword or Shield, mm -hmm. uh, you will get, like, uh, a code for 12 Quick Balls, which oh, I've, yeah. which I've already used. Oh, nice. So, I, I doubt I'd be able to use this again, but if you bought, uh, the digital pack, mm -hmm. Of sword and shield, not only you'll get the quick balls, but you also get two Pokemon to come with it. You, you'll get like a Lavatar and uh, the Django. Django. Uh, yeah, the that new that dragon type yeah, you yeah. find in Sun and Moon. Oh, so that's the only way to get those two? Yeah. Dang it. So I was like, I was really looking forward to being able to like Dynamax them because I got a. Uh, oh. Um. So I was like. Oh. Oh, like, I didn't do it on this one. Oh yeah, so like I'm I'm playing on the pro controller now. Oh, uh, that's probably why. Yeah, so that's probably why the Joy Cons are great right here. And so, I've been playing like, uh, well, well, for some of the time. No, when I started the, uh, playing the game, uh, I was playing with the the neon purple and orange Joy Cons, and uh, those were the colors on those Joy Cons you see uh, in the game here. Well. Actually, you don't see, but no. they're there, so depending on the controllers you use is the Joy-Cons you'll see. Nice. Oh, and by the way, I, I was watching a video from Austin John Plays earlier. If, apparently, speaking of controllers, if you have a, uh, a Pokeball, Pokeball Plus from Pokemon Go, 
let's go. If you never redeemed your Mew, you can Ge bring that into the game. Ah, uh, but I, yeah. I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Do you want me to go get it? Oh, uh, go get it? Yeah? Yeah! I mean, sure, it'll be my Mew, because oh, I'll be on oh, here. That's my Mew. <laughs> you have to trade it to me later. Deal? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you look a tree. I knew that bag would suit ye. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going to the forest for the two of you. Eh, all right. Bye, Mum. All right, Hop's waiting for you. Better head outside. All right, so like, uh, so yeah, like I, I, uh, I picked Square Bunny as uh, my starter for this game. So, uh, yeah, like I've seen like the final ev evolution. Um, let's see. Uh, Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace looks pretty cool. Um, despite how, like, like some people have been commenting with the, the league saying like, oh, the fire evolution starter is like nothing but a, like a soccer player. Like, that's it. So, I mean, but I mean, I, 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 I like Cinderace. I'm, I'm actually glad I picked that one. Yeah, yeah and I... Oh yeah, and like I, I try to avoid like as many leaks or spoilers from the game as possible before uh, this game came out. So I, I only know like a few things um, about this game. Ha! Huh, have a look at you, Jackie. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. See, still in the box. Oh, I brought my switch out as well. Oh, get... are you gonna put it on your game first? I don't know. I got. <laughs> well, we'll see. So we can get it both in our in both of our Pokédexes. Yeah. Hello, Lou. What's it doing there? I said, still in the box. I haven't even opened it yet. Hi, you silly Wulu. I'll see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokémon living in. The slobbering weld. Is it weld? Like W E A L D? Yeah, it's kind of wild. wild like, weld? I think it's wild. It's like a British version of doing wild, I guess. I don't know. I'm not British. Well, this thing I got, I mean, unless they're saying, like, waving a piece of wood around saying Wingardium Leviosa, I don't know <laughs> jack about British stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, that, now that that's taken care of. How about it, Jackie? That's right. But I can make it to my house first with. Uh, what with you lugging around that big old bag? Actually, if you, uh, I mean, you played as a male in your yeah, copy of yeah. the game. Like, the male's backpack is like huge. You yeah, know? it is. And compared to uh, the female characters, or your mom's bag, uh -huh. it's like really small and seems like really easy to carry. It's practically a Mary Poppins bag if you think yeah, about it's it. Got a the bag is smaller, but you could still have a big item inventory in there. It's got a bunch of like pockets and stuff. I will never understand woman's luggage. I do. I well, know, oh, well, I, yeah, you're married. Oh, yeah, I know all about it. I know prices, I know brands, I know, like, you name it, man. Well, the power of size is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Eh. S seen it, done it. <sighs> done it a lot. Yeah. Hiya, Jackie, I was looking for you, but... You don't need to go to the next town to find it when you lose right next door, right? Father, why have you brought the hammer? <laughs> That's terrible. Yo, I'm like, I'm like opening up the Pokeball Plus for the first time right now. I never got around to it. And you bought it like a year ago. I did. <laughs> this has been sitting on my shelf. Yo, this is sick. It, it, yeah, it probably feels nice, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Feel it. Yep. Can you feel it, Tanner? Yeah, mine probably doesn't feel as smooth as before. No. I don't know. No, I was going for like a, the croc red for it's like, oh, yeah. feel it, croc. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Mom, is he here? There you are, last hop. Oh, and you've brought a long jackie. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in the cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. 
He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. And that's where I'm going! You know, it's hopeless without directions. Or directions? Or directions, directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with me, Jackie. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the road. And my question is, at some point in this game... Yeah. Right? I want... So my goal is, with this game, like, that's why I'm focusing so much on building my team. Like, I... I want to go undefeated. Like, period. Like, never lose in battle. I, I will say I've had a few moments where, like, once or twice I... I quit my game so I can uh, go back to my safe before, like, oh, uh, the gym leader. Nice. There, there have been a few uh, gym leaders, I would say. Also, it might just depend on, like, my Pokemon teams and uh -huh. typing. Uh, there were some that I thought were, like, really hard to beat. And, yeah, and, and a few I was, like, really lucky with. I've been trying to balance it out pretty good. Like... Just but... have, like, uh, all of your Pokemon be different types. Different types, uh, different coverages, make sure that I've got, like, um, like, the best moves, best items that I can for them. Yeah. Like, that's why I spent, like, forever in the wild area. I was just looking around. Like, I, I loved it. I loved the wild area. Yeah. You know, there's a little bit of foreshadowing there. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, let's get a move on. Only remember, Jackie, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. Are you sure? <laughs> I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for for battle against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you, Jackie, so we'll still clear of the tall grass as we go. Oh yeah, so, uh, from what I understand with the Pokeball Plus, even if you load a Pokemon into it, now you can't use it as a controller for this game. Yes. But, uh, the, um, you can, uh, uh, still store a Pokemon in there. They can't, it doesn't get them experience points, but it does, but you can't pick up items. Right. Then, does, it, does that bug you too? Like seeing the little like exclamation on there. It does. Like, and okay, you know you know what also bugs me. Huh. Okay, make note. What grinds your gears? There are no pokeballs in here. That's correct. Okay, just just keep that in mind for later. Yeah, yeah, and then you get five, right? But you you don't know when you get five. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because like it's not until after you get your starter you have five pokeballs yeah, all of for a sudden. Some reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that really threw me off. So like after because like. Uh, as soon as I got my starter, uh, I went through this, well, yeah, as soon as you get your starter, you go through, uh, this route up here. Yeah. But, uh, I never caught any Pokemon. Yep. Because I didn't know that I had Pokeballs with me. Yep. So, yeah. I, hate... I, I don't know if I missed it, or there were, like, no indication that you, uh, get Pokeballs. Like, from Lee, I guess. Yeah. I mentioned Jack. Jack. The the dimension, Jack. Bam! Wow, strike a pose, dude. Look at you go. Uh, no, don't mind me. I'm just standing in the background. Oh like, yeah. yeah. Charizard's like, you know, I I, uh, I kind of do all the work here. <laughs> yeah. I do all the heavy lifting. He, like, <laughs> he does all the heavy he lifting. Does. Yeah. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's on people! Champion! Leon, you and are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on trading up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Now come charge me for that champion title! We're on it with Wabu! We're getting all our battle skills just like it us too late! Oh, it's getting laggy. I don't know if that's yeah. just me. I th it, is, it is a bit laggy, yeah. I think. Yeah, well, that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Gala's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Speaking of Charizard, ah! can, you, can you trade between Pokemon Let's Go and Pokemon uh, and these ones? <sighs> I don't know. I, I have seen like an image of like a like a like a Gigamax version of a uh, uh, Mel Metan or the the that new Steel Pokemon oh, Steel yeah, type. Po yeah, Meltan. Yeah, Meltan. Meltan and Melmetal. Yeah. Yeah. It, let's see. In between. 
Yeah. Lee! Whoa! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Exactly an inch and a quarter. He's very good. Yeah, Bingo! That's the sort of short pie that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? <gasps> and that what? You can. Wait, wait, wait. That's not Surabi. I'm going to check Surabi. Okay. That's like some other one. It says you can. All right. Uh, and these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Jackie, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee! And you, Jackie! Back and beat you both of you back home! That hop always wants him to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gala can have a champion time. Yeah, don't worry, I'll just catch up. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. that's just <laughs> lagging. Charizard's just like, mm. uh, that's just like waiting behind Leon. <laughs> Come on, Lee, you promised us a present. So out with it. You brought Jackie and me Pokemon, you did? Didn't you? I know you must have. <laughs> right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. This and is... loading, loading. Okay, here we go. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. No? That sucks. They're both, like, they're both Switch titles. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I so I think with down, Pokemon too. Home, you can only transfer certain Pokemon into Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah. Like, if they're available, yeah. That makes sense. But, like... What was that? Oh, it was... Uh, I'm all upstairs. Okay, I thought the house was haunted or something. <laughs> it is, but, yeah. <laughs> no, the, uh... Like, I, you think you could All right, line up, over. everyone. Huh? You think you could transfer them over. I yeah. Mean, they're all Gen 1. But then again, not all Gen 1 Pokemon do appear yeah. in Pokemon. Oh, so uh, which will you choose? Okay. So, uh, again, me and Esther have both picked Square Bunny. Yep. So, let's see. So, oh. we want to be on the... Okay, so here's the thing. We want to be on the Grookey Gang, Sobble Squad... Or, uh, Score Bunny Squad. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go on, you pick first. I've only got my Wulu after all. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for Sobble. Sobble. Yep. Come on, can we name him, uh, what's that, what's that? Uh, I'm not, I'm not much can of we, a nickname. Can we name him Randall? No. From, from Monsters Inc., he looks like him. Y you can name him Randall. Yeah, I'll name him Randall when I get one. Yeah. Uh, that's a wall type Sobble. It adopts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble? Yes. Nice. You chose Sobble. No. I, 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 I'm the kind of Pokemon player that would uh, prefer to have like regular names See, instead most, of most nicknames. Of them, most of them I do. I've only had... Because like, I would like to get to know their names. Uh, oh yeah, good point. I like... So the only Pokemon that I've ever really like stuck with a nickname with, mm -hmm. just in general... Was uh, Torchic, like and, and then uh, up to uh, up, obviously up to Blaziken, but I always named them Firebird. Firebird. Yeah, yeah, really original, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's like, well, when I was when I was younger, when I got those, that's what I named them, and I was like, and after that, it's always been Firebird. <laughs> so it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Call it Firebud. Then I'll go with Skull Bunny. You're mine. Uh, we call it first. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Score buddy? <laughs> nice. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I've brought along these Pokemon for you and Jackie. So the two of you can battle and trade and grow strongest together to try to reach me. Okay. 
So here, here's what I'm guessing. So I haven't fought Leon yet. Okay. So I'm assuming uh, he does take Rookie or uh, the the Pokemon that's strong against the one you so, pick. So it would have been Sobble for yours and mine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so so yeah. kind of like uh, with uh, Professor Kuk uh, Kukui. Kukui. Yeah. Uh, from Sun and Moon. Uh huh. Because like uh, he picked. Oh no! Like uh, your rival picked the starter that's weak to yours, and a uh, Kuki. I don't know if that's just how you pronounce his name. It's been a long time. <laughs> um, so he picks a. So he he keeps the Pokemon that's like strong against yours. Yes. So I'm assuming that's the case. Uh, Grookey, you're coming with me. Charles, I will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong, real kind too. Grookey's like crap. <laughs> He's the size of his foot. Like, he's gonna get stepped on during training. He's like, <laughs> Alright, enough for all of this. He's just like, Grookie. Grookie. In translation. Yeah, yeah and Charizard just like looking at uh, at his uh, foot. He's like, Oh, what's all this green stuff? You know? <laughs> and Grookie's like, like Grookie. It's like translation. Tell Hop. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's like stupid like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, enough is all this uh, tra training nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. <laughs> Yo, have you used the camping set very much? Or like cooking stuff? Uh, what, just like for outdoors? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you used your campsite yet? Uh, what campsite? You know the one that you get that you can use in like the wild area or whatever, or like just oh in the game. I thought you were talking about in real life. Oh no no no. no. Okay. No. Use your tent lately? Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. oh yeah. I mean I I've used uh, the Pokemon camp uh, yeah. uh like uh, sometimes. Okay. And and it does help. Like uh, the first time kind of threw me off a little bit as far as cooking goes. Yeah. Uh, but I kind I kind of got used to it. Okay. So like uh, so like you have the the food which is like the base ingredient, uh -huh. and then. Uh, you throw in berries as like, uh, like for extra flavor uh -huh. and stuff. I got you. Uh, and then basically, like cooking's basically like a a little mini game, kind of like with the uh, the poke poffins. Yeah, or the the poke box. Or the the poke blocks. Where where is that from? That wasn't was... that wasn't that from uh, Pokemon? Let's go. No, the, that was like old school. That was like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. You know, you could go to, like, that little... I thought that was the Poffins. Or was that Diamond and Pearl? I think that might have been Diamond and Pearl. Because, like, the block... Like, I remember there were, like, the blocks you could make. And then they would, like, make your Pokemon more cute. Or more, like, whatever. Oh! Contest, you know yeah! What I mean? Yeah! Okay, that's... Like that? That's Ruby and Sapphire. Is it like that? Uh, no. It's... No. No, it's just, like... Uh, so it is more like Poffins. It's just depending how great the meal is. Uh-huh. Uh, it can uh, revive your Pokemon if they fainted. Uh -huh. uh, it can uh, restore their HP and PP, and it all can also uh, give them experience points huh. as well. Uh, I gotcha. So the next day, yo, you I'm gonna carry this Pokeball with me like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, then like uh, people watching you're gonna be like, what, what, what is that in what, his pocket? What, what is that ball? Yo, know, it's just well, cause, like, I or, can't, or some people like, oh, Pokemon is for babies. Like, yeah, you know, speak for yourself. So then I'm gonna live forever, man. Yeah, uh, you spent the whole night with that new pop. No, of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on? Oh, no. oh wait, you two getting on, all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Cause I am Lee. Jackie's made fast friends with Sobble too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Nah, you're beatable. You're going uh, down. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you, if you think Jackie might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing, <clears throat> willing to, re willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Nah. 
Yeah. It's good. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a chubby time battling with them. That. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this! I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Nice. Alright, challenge by Pokemon Trainer Hop. And you know, like, uh, one, uh, it's kind of an odd change, but a nice change, I think. Uh -huh. Is that, you know, when you have your uh, first battle with your rival, uh -huh. it's just like uh, one po a one on one Pokemon fight. Uh -huh. He has two. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, growl. That's what I'm going to do. That didn't do much. Yep. And I'm going to pound it. I'm going to. Pound the fluff out of that Wooloo. He's like... Here. Oh yeah, just like... <laughs> wait, wait, just... <laughs> you, you know, I think I think when I, when I picked Squirt Bunny, I think it already learned Ember. I think, did it? Was that one of its first moves? I think it learns Ember right after you defeat Wooloo. Because okay. you've got like Tackle and whatever. And then like, uh, after you defeat Wooloo. Then, then you like level up? Then you get your first like actual elemental move. Yeah, because you'll level up right after beating this one then you get your first elemental move. See, you gain XP. Oh yeah! Yeah, so now you're gonna learn like Water Gun or something like that. Ah, right, there it goes. Okay. Oh, yeah, then you're gonna... It's not over yet! I've added another trusty ally to my team! Or, no, Grookey, one shot score by him. Yeah. I do like, I, okay, I do love Score Bunny's animation, though. Yeah. Like, like when he's Score Bunny, but like, when he evolves to that turtleneck dude, I don't know how I feel about it. What, wait, for Sobble? No, or... for Score Bunny. Oh, no, Score Bunny's like, um... Oh, oh, wait, you're saying, like, it's uh, mid-evolution. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's basically just, like, wearing a big hoodie. By the way, I'm just gonna change... Then, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change my score by... Or my... What's the second evolution's name called? Uh, Reboot. Reboot. I'm gonna change his name. I'm gonna change his nickname. They're called Ron. Ron? Yeah, from, like, Harry Potter. Why Ron? Because he's got red hair. Ha! <laughs> there you go. Well, that's... Kind of racist. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's, it's, it's just assuming that every red British redhead is named Ron. Anyway, like, <laughs> That's uh, spoiler alert, I don't know if you know, uh, but uh, Square Bunny's final evolution... I, I, I don't know what it is. is uh, oh, wait, no, go, ahead, tell, go ahead, tell me. I've seen it. it. It's, like, best described as, like, a, like a soccer player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Cinder Aces, uh, that's uh, their name, uh -huh. Cinder Ace, uh, their signature move that you learn as a, if it evolves into that, uh -huh. it's a... Pretty awesome looking animation. Yeah, well, like, uh, well, one of their attacks. So depending on like what stage I am, I'm on in the game. I just like, I don't know. I disable uh, battle animations depending on what I'm doing. If I'm, did you really know about your time advantages? Sorry. Especially if I'm uh, like shiny hunting and stuff, I always disable battle animations. Because it's faster. I don't know, I just, uh, I, I, I always keep my battle animations right. on. So that's what's it like, like, for most of the game I do, but like when I start, like, doing like a lot of post-game stuff, or if I'm, like, grinding for a while, yeah. if I know I'm going to be grinding, then I, then I disable them just because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to, don't want to deal with it. Right. Oh, yeah. Did you evolve your, uh, your score bunny before the first gym? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, I, th I was thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to, like, I thought I'd, like, have to, like, that's why I stayed so long in the wild area. I just kept like grinding, kept defeating Pokemon, trying to get my my score bunny. So like right now, I'm not even to the first gym, and my Pokemon's like level twenty five. So yeah, I'm just like. Oh, one thing I uh, one thing I was worried about was um, is that like um, I think once you hit level twenty, uh -huh. then your Pokemon will start to disobey you. 
I think. Well, I, haven't, I haven't had that problem yet. At least, at least with Score Bunny. Well, or well, it, I, it, I, I don't know. It, it felt like um, it, it, it was kind of tight uh, within like the first two gyms, you know? Yeah. Because like, uh, once your Pokemon get at a higher level, and if you don't have enough badges, they won't listen to you. That's true. So I, I, I don't know, because I think I think like the first uh, within the first two gyms. Uh-huh. At least, definitely the first one for sure. It, it just kind of feels tight, because then like uh, that, there's like this one route, uh, right before the town of the first uh-huh. gym. Uh, like I, I skipped all the trainers and the wild Pokemon because I, you didn't want to level up. Yeah, I got you. And so I, I try to beat the first gym leader as fast as possible, so that way, uh, I can get that extra cushion to let my uh, Pokemon level up some more. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that civil war too much! I take it back, he's level 23. I got a Mudbray too. Uh, a Mudbray? Yeah. Uh, that's from Sun and Moon, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. He's got a killer defense yeah. too. 